Hello there and welcome to Evolution and Paleobiology. So uh, this is the first of several videos that are going to cover the equivalent of a two-hour lecture slot for you today. Uh, this particular um, collection of videos will touch on some of the things that you covered in the first year. So for some aspects of what we're going to learn today, these will be a reminder. And for others, we'll take your knowledge a little further than you may have covered in the first year. The topics that we're going to be covering more generally include the origins of life, the early evolution of life and how that relates to the history of the Earth. We'll introduce the groups Archaea and Bacteria, what these are and a little bit about their biology. And then we'll look at a um, major event in Earth history called the Great Oxygenation Event, or GOE. We'll look at the origin of more complex organisms, things called eukaryotes. We'll define that as we get there. And also we'll look at the appearance of a life cycle that is found within this group, that is sexual reproduction. We'll introduce the origins of multicellularity and a group of organisms that are arguably some of the first macroscopic features to display this trait. Those are the diacron fauna. And then we'll look at animal origins and the early evolution of animals. So I think it's really important for all of these topics to discuss why this matters. And in this case, this matters because these are some really big, they're key questions about the history of life on Earth. These events are responsible for shaping pretty much all of life that we see today on the Earth. And understanding these events is key to understanding the life that's around us today, but also evolution as a whole, i.e. how that life has evolved over the last 3,500 million plus years of evolution. Throughout these slides, I've used um, some shorthand for ages before present. GA stands for billions of years before present, so 1.5 GA means 1,500 million years before the current day, and MA means millions of years before present. So for example, uh, 540 MA means 540 million years ago. As this is one of the first videos that you're going to see, have seen for me, I just wanted to provide a tiny bit of uh, orientation for you. So the slides generally have images that support the text, but not much text themselves. The only text that you'll find on my slides is generally words that are hard to spell or that are important for any given topic, where I'll put a definition for you. Because this is a video, I would encourage you to, if you don't follow something, pause, go back and watch a piece of the recording again if you're struggling to keep on top of things. But also, you'll ha have the opportunity to ask any questions you like about topics that you don't understand in the Zoom sessions that are accompanying uh, the content for this course. Because today, or over the course of this chunk of material, we're going from the origins of life to the appearance of complex organisms like animals, we're actually covering a lot of material in the next eight videos. An awful lot has happened over the first 3,000 million years of evolution. And that means that there'll be quite a few new concepts that could creep in today. Um, but again, any questions are very welcome in our Zoom sessions. And bear in mind that this is potentially one of the more um, content-rich video sets that I'll be producing for this lecture that may, for many of you, contain a bit more new stuff than some of the other ones will. So, with that, I will leave you to um, watch the remainder of these videos. But a key thing that I wanted to point out is that this set of videos is very important for the coursework for this module. And I'll be providing uh, details of that coursework in the Zoom sessions that go along with uh, this set of videos. So I hope you enjoy them. I really welcome any feedback that you have and I'll see you just down the page in the next video. See you soon.